Imagine standing at the pinnacle of power, where every word you speak is law, and every gaze falls in awe of your greatness. Now picture losing it all in an instant, not through war, not through betrayal, but because of something far more subtle, yet dangerously powerful, pride. This is the story of King Nebuchadnezzar, the man who ruled over the greatest empire on earth, yet was brought to his knees, not by armies, but by the hand of God. What happens when the most powerful man in the world forgets where his power comes from? When pride blinds the heart, what can restore sight? Join us as we explore. The ancient kingdom of Babylon, where the line between man and beast blurred, and a king learned a life-altering lesson about humility and the true source of all power. This is a story of downfall, redemption, and the sovereign might of God. Once upon a time, in the vast kingdom of Babylon, there ruled a mighty king named Nebuchadnezzar. His empire stretched far and wide, and his name was known throughout the world. The walls of Babylon were towering, and its riches were unmatched. Nebuchadnezzar had achieved great things, but as time passed, his heart grew proud. He began to believe that all his success was because of his own strength, his wisdom, and his power. He forgot that it was God who had given him this greatness. One evening, as the king stood on the roof of his royal palace, he gazed upon the splendor of his kingdom and said to himself, is not this the great Babylon I have built as the royal residence by my mighty power and for the glory of my majesty? In that moment, Nebuchadnezzar's heart was full of pride and he believed he was the source of all his blessings. But God, who sees the heart of every man, was displeased with Nebuchadnezzar's arrogance. In his wisdom, God knew that pride goes before a fall, and he had a plan to humble this mighty king. Suddenly, a voice from heaven interrupted Nebuchadnezzar's thoughts, declaring, This is what is decreed for you, King Nebuchadnezzar. Your royal authority has been taken from you. You will be driven away from people and will live with the wild animals. You will eat grass like the ox. Seven times will pass by for you, until you acknowledge that the Most High is sovereign over all kingdoms on earth and gives them to anyone he wishes. In an instant, the mighty Nebuchadnezzar lost his reason. His mind became like that of an animal. He was driven out of the palace, away from his kingdom, and into the wilderness. His body was drenched with the dew of heaven, and he lived like a beast. His hair grew long like the feathers of an eagle, and his nails became like the claws of a bird. Day after day, he wandered through the fields, eating grass like the cattle. Why did this happen? Because Nebuchadnezzar had allowed pride to fill his heart. He had forgotten that it was God who gave him his power and glory. God humbled him so that he would learn that the Most High rules over all the kingdoms of men, and that it is God who sets up kings and brings them down. For seven long years, Nebuchadnezzar lived this way, a shadow of the man he once was. But in God's mercy, he did not abandon Nebuchadnezzar forever. At the end of the seven years, Nebuchadnezzar lifted his eyes toward heaven, and his reason was restored. In that moment of clarity, Nebuchadnezzar realized the truth he had ignored. God is sovereign. Humbled and repentant, he praised and honored the Most High, saying, his dominion is an eternal dominion. His kingdom endures from generation to generation. All the peoples of the earth are regarded as nothing. He does as he pleases with the powers of heaven and the peoples of the earth. No one can hold back his hand or say to him, what have you done? God restored Nebuchadnezzar to his throne and his kingdom became even greater than before. But now, Nebuchadnezzar was no longer the proud king who believed in his own greatness. He had learned that all power, glory, and authority belonged to God alone. And for the rest of his days, Nebuchadnezzar praised and exalted the king of heaven. 
for everything he does is right, and all his ways are just. This story teaches us that no matter how powerful we become, we must never forget that it is God who gives us everything we have. Pride can lead to a fall, but humility brings restoration and grace.